What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at Wave 1 of Super 7's Power Ranger line, and this figure is the Putty Patroller. Alright, and like always we start off with the packaging. So as you guys can see here on the slip cover, it has that nice green color to it with that like yellow lightning bolt hitting the center, which is a diamond, a gold diamond with the picture of the Putty Patroller. On the bottom it says Putty Patroller and to the right hand side it says Super 7. So really nice. This is the typical look so far for Wave 1. I don't know if they're going to change it for the other waves but this is so far how it's been. On the back it says Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with Super 7 again. Really cool. So now we're just going to lift up this slip cover here and... Oh, that's happened to me every single time where it slips out of my hand. But anyway, uh, it comes out, and then as you guys can see here, it's got a nice window packaging in the front, so you can actually see the figure and all of its accessories. And then we spin it around, and it has a cool picture of the putty right there, and it actually has like a little bio on the bottom for, uh, for you guys to read, if you'd like to. So, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, that's it for the packaging. Let's get this guy out. All right, we are starting off with the accessories, and I wanted to start off first with this. This thing's really cool. It's the, uh, when Lord Zed joined the team, that's when the putty started wearing this, like, vest thing. It's like a soft, you know, plastic that can go over him, which is really cool. And, of course, it's got the armbands. So it's like a cloth, you know, it stretches, it can actually go onto the putty. So that's pretty important because you can change it from the traditional putty from Season 1 to the Zed putties that showed up later on. Uh, this is a nice little accessory as well. It's when they started having, like, the weapons for the hands. So this is like a sword hand, if you will. And it also came with the rock hand, too, which that's pretty cool. Definitely different. I love all the detail on the rock. Look at that. It's got a nice shine to it. You can still see the fingers and stuff. Really cool. Of course, they also have a different head sculpt. Pretty neat. This one's got a little more detail than the one that it comes with. But, I don't know. I might keep the one that's actually on there as opposed to this one. But we'll get to that. Got a little black mark on the back there, too. Then we're going to jump on over to the hands, of course. Now, they have... It has two open hands right here. See, look at all the detail on the rocks. Look at that. Awesome. Just really nicely done. Then we got two, like, uh, I guess these would be gripping hands, right? Yeah, I guess they're considered gripping hands. Two more like that. There you go. Comes with a cowboy hat. Now you might be saying, what's up with the cowboy hat? Well, as we addressed with Super 7's Yellow Ranger in the last episode... They do a good job of doing little nods towards uh, certain episodes. This is the, like, uh, scarf that went around the, uh, you know, goes around the neck. And it comes with a pumpkin. So these are all little accessories that we've seen the putties deal with. Like, they fought the putties in the pumpkin patch and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So that's why the pumpkin's here. This is like, um, uh, like a dress or a skirt or whatever. I, th I think this is when they, like, see, he has the football jersey. So I think this is when, the, like, the, you know, there was an episode where they the putties turned into like athletes or whatever, football players, whatever you want to call it. But like it's it's really nice. It's nice little nods that Super 7 does for the fans of the show. All right, and now we're jumping into that first look, that 360 look from afar. And from afar, he looks great. So this is what I was talking about. When he comes out of the packaging, he looks like the traditional putty from Season 1. You know, he's got the all gray. He's got the black uh, like lines on his shoulder and, and torso. Really cool. He's got the red eyes, so I love the red eyes. I'm going to keep that head sculpt. Now we're going to bring him in close for that closer look. And this is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at the eyes. A little less detail on that face, but really cool. Oh, man, I got a little scuff here. Look at that. I got two scuffs. One on the belt, one on the belly. Uh, that kind of stinks. Ah, well. It is what it is, I guess, right? Other than that, very, very basic gray, which is what their costume was. I mean, it wasn't anything special. Very basic gray with a little bit of black and then the rock hands. Really cool. Yeah, I like this head sculpt. I'm most likely going to keep this head sculpt on. All right, so now articulation. The head turns, turns up and down. Then we got the T-pose. It's got a swivel at the shoulder and a bicep swivel. So you got two uh, options there for movement. The elbow bends. Bends the other side, goes up. Goes up. There you go. Oh, my hand's a little loose here. That's weird. Let's pop that back in. There we go. Got that ab cruncher right there, which gives him plenty of movement. 
But that is not all. We also got a nice little twist at the waist. Leg comes up. Leg goes back. Then we got the knee bend. Knee joint. Really good. No thigh swivel, but we do have a swivel at the, like, uh, the boot. And then the ankle also has a hinge, which goes up and goes down. A little stiff, but not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so there we go. That is, uh, that's it for articulation. We're going to be back with my final thoughts, guys. All right, and here we are with our my final thoughts. This is what I was talking about. I switched out his hands. I gave him the rock, um... The rock hand and the sword hand. I gave him the cool uh, Z like uh, piece on the chest and on the arms. I really like how he looks with this. I'm a huge fan. I think it really steps up the game of the putty patroller, in my personal opinion. But I'm keeping the head on. I really like this head over the other one. So that's just my opinion. This is how I'm going to have him set up, though. With the Lord Z stuff and the sword and the um rock hands i really like the look of it i think it spices things up a little bit makes them look a little bit cooler and you know what if i want i could put a cowboy hat on them and put the cowboy scarf or whatever you know it's really cool they give you plenty of options i really like that super 7 does that super 7 does some really good work like i think at the price point and how much you pay for it and what you get with it and plus the nods to the uh, to the real diehard fans really positive outlook for super seven but the negative is that there is some QC, qc issues like not much like i got little scuffs on this guy i got uh you know a, a little um thing on the gold are that kind of broke very easily so it's not massive like not enough to change my opinion on them but i'm just being honest guys like i love the price point i love the accessories you get and i love the articulation but just be aware you might have some issues with that kind of stuff but anyway guys that's it for me i'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comment section down below catch you on the next one guys <laughs>